Well, it is a retreat for artists from around the world with a view more than 100 feet off the ground. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson takes us to the Anderson Center in Red Wing for inspiration and intrigue. Red Wing is known for many things. It's boots, it's bluffs, and of course, its views. Actually, Bar Bluff is, is right, right there. Here. Yeah. Okay. Just off of Highway 61 is a tower with a 360 degree view. From the first step to the top is 115 feet. No Wi Fi, no air conditioning, no <laughs> cable. Uh, but you get by. That's not why you're here anyways. Exactly, yeah. People are here to get work done and uh, yeah, this is an interesting setting to do that. The site is called the Anderson Center at Tower View and it's where artists from around the world come and stay for weeks on end. We host sculptors, animators, filmmakers, um, musicians, composers. We've had artists from almost every state in over 40 countries. Artists like Gail Dahlberg. We'll kind of see what the glass wants to do. We colored it a little bit. Hypothetically, he gave up golf for glass blowing, and he's been here since the beginning. Meeting people from all over the world, you know, even if it's just a month, I've made countless friends from international countries. He's teaching his craft on what used to be a working farm owned by A.P. Anderson, who developed a process for making puffed wheat and rice. He put Quaker Oats on the map in some ways, and this was um, where a lot of cereal experiments went on. Built in the early 1900s, Anderson's family once lived and worked here. The tower actually held their water supply. Anderson himself was a bit of an artist. So in 1995, his grandson helped transform the farm into a creative community. The family's former living quarters now houses painters and creators. Gardens once filled with vegetables are now filled with sculptures. This would probably take, mm, maybe around 100 hours, maybe. B.J. Mouchette Norman is a portrait artist here, using oil paints to make her work as realistic as possible. Plaid shirts are awful. <laughs> That's your biggest challenge, those darn plaid shirts. Exactly. A small obstacle made easier because of the artists that surround her. Like any, any profession, if you're around the folks that do the same thing you do, it makes it very... Very nice. The whole site is really a, a laboratory for, for arts and ideas. Coming here is really just a, a, like an energizing experience and really just opens your eyes to these different possibilities. In Red Wing, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Anderson Center at Tower View will hold an open house this weekend to celebrate its 25th anniversary as an art center. For more information about the celebration and when you can visit, just head to WCCO.com links.